Hello everyone, I'm Satoru Iwata from Nintendo. What you just saw is a new challenger video for Super Smash Bros. It took some time to develop this character after the game was completed, so we had to make you wait, but Mewtwo will join the battle in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS on April 28th at the price listed here. And, as I previously announced, Club Nintendo members who have purchased and registered both the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U versions of the game before March 31st will receive a free download code for the character on April 15. Alongside Mewtwo, we'll be releasing a software update on April 15th as well. In the future, We'll continue to develop more and offer additional downloadable content for Super Smash Bros. Here's a taste of what we have in development. First, we'll be adding more costumes for customizing Wii Fighters. In addition to the items you see here, we'll begin offering costumes inspired by major game series. For the first wave of crossover items, we've created outfits inspired by X and Proto Man from Capcom's Mega Man series. But that's not all of the new content we'll be offering. Please take a look at this. You recognize this fighter as Lucas from Super Smash Bros. Brawl on Wii, and originally from Mother 3, the sequel to Earthbound released only in Japan. We've heard your request and we've decided to offer Lucas as a downloadable content. We are still hard at work, but we are planning his release for June. I imagine that you may have some fighters in mind yourself. Can you think of anyone you'd like to see fight against characters like Mario or Link in Super Smash Bros? Well, after discussing it with Smash Bros. director Masahiro Sakurai, we've decided to open the new Smash Bros. fighter battle on the Smash Bros. microsite after this Nintendo Direct. With this poll, you can let us know directly which characters you'd like to see become the next new fighter in Super Smash Bros. Of course, please understand that we won't be able to accommodate every request, but Mr. Sakurai and the rest of the staff will take each request into consideration when developing additional fighters. We look forward to hearing from you. 
this microsite will also provide details on upcoming downloadable content and how to purchase it. Speaking of Super Smash Brothers, we are ready to announce the next waves of Amiibo in this series. In the coming months, the following characters will join the 30 plus Super Smash Bros. Amiibo that are already available. Of these Amiibo figures, remember that Lucina and Robin can be used with codename Steam and that Wario is compatible with Mario Party 10. We'll be releasing a number of Amiibo exclusively through retail partners. Keep an eye out for announcement from these retailers to find out when you can pre-order. I hope you are looking forward to training up these Amiibo in Super Smash Bros. Rest assured, we'll also be releasing Amiibo of Mewtwo and Lucas sometime in the future. Next up is something called Amiibo Tap Nintendo's Greatest Bits. This downloadable title for Wii U lets you touch Amiibo on the Wii U gamepad to unlock gameplay highlights from select NES and Super NES titles. Each demo is limited to 3 minutes, so you can't experience the entire game. But you can tap an amiibo to the gamepad multiple times to switch out which scene is higher. That way, you can sample a variety of scenes. The games assigned to the amiibo you use are not predetermined. Instead, titles are randomly assigned when you scan your amiibo of choice for the first time. So in that way, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you are going to get. As you can see, there will be many classics to sample. So try scanning different amiibo. It's sort of like swapping game cartridges on an old NES or Super NES. Amiibo Tap Nintendo's Greatest Bits will release on the Nintendo eShop this spring as a free download. Next, please take a look at this. What you just saw was a 30th anniversary commemoration video created with the Wii U game Mario Maker. That's right, it's been 30 years since the launch of the original Super Mario Bros. game on the NES in 1985. I couldn't be happier that Mario has continued to be active across a wide range of games thanks in no small part to the love you all have for Mario. I'm extremely thankful. There's no better way than an anniversary celebration to gear up for what will be a definitive Mario experience. Mario Maker. Mario Maker is a game that lets you use the Wii U Game Pass to create and play Mario levels. All you have to do is place characters or other pieces from Mario games onto the level. That way, anyone can create unique levels. You'll be able to switch between four different Super Mario Bros. game themes. From the 8-bit pixel art of the original to the world of New Super Mario Bros. U, 
and enjoy the action that each provides. You can upload your finished creations for people all over the world to enjoy. Maybe this is your first step toward becoming a world famous level designer. Mario Maker will launch this September. As we approach its release, we'll be exploring fun ways to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers. Please stay tuned for more information. Now, let me pass it over to Bill Trinan at Nintendo of America for more updates and announcements. Bill? Thanks, Mr. Iwata. Bill Trinan here with some news on upcoming Wii U games. First is Yoshi. Yoshi's Woolly World is a creative and lovingly crafted new entry in the Yoshi series. It reimagines fan favorite gameplay elements and makes them feel brand new again. As you can see, Yoshi's latest adventure is an action game that takes place in a woolly world spread across varied stages, featuring fun yarn challenges. You'll create platforms and even unravel yarn walls to discover hidden paths. To aid in these tasks, Yoshi must use his signature moves, like gobbling up enemies or flutter jumping. Meanwhile, he'll explore every nook and cranny of every stage as he collects items and heads to the goal. The game offers two modes, Classic Mode and Mellow Mode. Classic Mode has a similar feel to traditional Yoshi series games, and despite the game's cute visuals, it will prove quite challenging even for veteran players. Mellow Mode, on the other hand, allows players of all skill levels to enjoy the game as Winged Yoshi, who happens to have the cutest voice you can imagine. You can switch between the two modes at any time during play, so if you get stuck in regular mode, you can switch over and continue enjoying yourself in mellow mode. Oh, I should mention, there are also special Yoshi Amiibo. While the current lineup of Amiibo figures are all made of hard materials, this Amiibo series is created from yarn, just like the heroes of Yoshi's Woolly World. When you tap the Yoshi Amiibo on the Wii U gamepad, another Yoshi will appear in the game, allowing you to play with double Yoshi. That way, even when you're playing single player, you won't feel like you're playing alone. As in the multiplayer mode, playing with double Yoshi lets you turn your ally into a yarn ball to throw at enemies or to cross chasms. It really expands the gameplay. Yoshi's Woolly World will launch later this year. The Yarn Yoshi Amiibo will be available in three different colors, green, pink, and light blue. Next up is Platoon. In this action shooter, you control squid-like inklings who can transform into humanoids. So far, we've introduced a four-on-four -four online ink battle mode called Turf Wars, and a single-player campaign called Octo Valley, where you set off on your own to take down the inklings' natural-born enemies, the Octopus Army. But today, we'll show you two more modes. The first is an online mode called Ranked Battle. Just like in Turf Wars, you'll team up with three other players to battle it out in four-on-four -four matches. However, this mode includes a ranking system. Ranked Battle has several rules that differ from Turf Wars. In one mode, called Splat Zones, players battle over a specific area within a given stage, so you can expect some fierce battles between two teams to go down here. Polish your skills against the Octarian Menace in single player, hit up Turf Wars for a casual multiplayer matchup, and then up the intensity in Ranked Battle, where you'll find the most serious competition. Another mode included in the game is called the Battle Dojo. Here you can enjoy local one-on-one -on -one battles with friends. In this mode, one player uses the gamepad as a screen while the other plays on the TV screen, each one competing to see who can pop the highest number of balloons in a given stage. You can play this mode on the same stages as in Turf Wars, so just like in a real dojo, you can practice your moves and learn the layout and locations of obstacles to up your game in Turf Wars. We have one more Splatoon announcement today. We've decided to release Inkling Amiibo right alongside the game's launch. When you touch an Inkling Amiibo to the gamepad, you'll receive missions based on the Amiibo you tap in. By completing these missions, you can acquire special weapons and gear that you can only get from these compatible Amiibo. The Splatoon series of Amiibo will be available in a single pack including an Inkling Girl, 
an inkling boy, and an inkling squid on May 29th when Splatoon launches. Or you can buy the inkling girl or the inkling boy individually the same day. Moving along, I'm happy to announce that we'll be adding Nintendo 64 and Nintendo DS games to our Wii U Virtual Console service. When playing Nintendo DS Virtual Console games, your TV monitor and Wii U gamepad will provide multiple dual screen layout options to maximize your enjoyment. Some games will use your TV monitor as the main screen, while others will use both screens as one connected screen. No matter what type of Nintendo DS game you're playing, you can select a layout that best suits that title. For Nintendo 64 Virtual Console titles, you can select from one of three different control schemes and then configure specific buttons to your liking, or to better match the layout of the Nintendo 64 controller. And yes, if a particular game supported the rumble pack on Nintendo 64, the Wii U gamepad will be ready to rumble accordingly. And of course, both Nintendo DS and Nintendo 64 games can be played on the Wii U gamepad screen as well. Keep in mind that the Wii U Virtual Console versions of Nintendo 64 games you've already purchased on Wii and transferred to Wii U will be available at the special discounted price of $2 each. Yoshi's Island DS will be released immediately after this announcement, as will the Nintendo 64 game, Super Mario 64. The following titles will also be available soon. Next. Let's hear from Damon Baker, who's got some updates on upcoming indie titles. Thanks, Bill. There's a lot of great stuff headed to the Nintendo eShop, so let's get right into it. Coming to Wii U this May, Adventures of Pip is a puzzle platformer set in a retro-inspired 32-bit world. Pip is the unlikeliest digital underdog, a single pixel able to absorb the pixels of his defeated enemies to evolve into three different forms. Skillfully switch between each form while exploring five dangerous worlds to overthrow the evil Skeleton Queen. Rescue trapped villagers to unlock new shops, and don't forget to use your gamepad to quickly access your inventory or quick travel throughout the land. Octodad Dadliest Catch is a game all about deception, not to mention destruction, and of course, dadliness, also known as fatherhood. In this one, you play as a dapper octopus masquerading as a human, and as such, you'll have to master simple everyday tasks made difficult by your unwieldy tentacles all while keeping your cephalopodin nature a secret from your unsuspecting human family. Can we get ice cream? There's even a ridiculously silly co-op mode where up to four players each control a different tentacle. Collect neckties and learn about Octodad's secret life when Octodad, Dadliest Catch, flops his way onto Wii U this summer. The Mutant Muds are back on Wii U and Nintendo 3DS, ready to soil the land in the sequel to the acclaimed original. Mutant Muds Super Challenge contains 40 brand new levels filled with dimension-bending, platforming fun that will have you hopping in and out of the background to discover secret pathways and collect gems. Be prepared to bring your platforming skills because the challenge has been cranked up a notch. Best of all, if you buy the game on Nintendo 3DS, you can download it on Wii U for free and vice versa. And if you own the original, a loyalty discount will also be offered. In Don't Starve Giant Edition, you'll fight, farm, craft, scavenge, and do whatever it takes to survive in a wilderness filled with science, magic, and things that go bump in the night. Randomly generated worlds and the constant threat of permadeath will keep you on your toes. But luckily, your trusty gamepad will be with you to display your inventory and map, or to play the game in off-TV mode. Don't Starve Giant Edition will also launch with a special promotion. Every purchase gets you two copies of the game on Wii U. Send your second copy to a friend and they'll be able to embark on their own bizarre adventures. Before I pass it back to Bill, take a look at a number of other titles coming soon to the Nintendo eShop. Thanks everyone.
First off, thank you for waiting, everyone. It's been a long time since we announced this project, but the game you just saw is indeed the crossover between Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem that we announced back in January of 2013 in a Nintendo Direct. The role-playing masters at Atlas are developing a truly modern RPG where everyday life exists alongside a secret world of fantasy, including characters from the Fire Emblem series. I hope you're looking forward to it. Stay tuned for more information on this title in the future. Now it's time for... Whoa. Uh, as I was saying, now it's time for a new Wii U title that fans have been clamoring for. In this new entry of the Fatal Frame series, you play as one of three different characters, each with their own storyline set at the cursed tourist destination, Mount Hikami. Using the Wii U gamepad as your camera, you'll investigate different areas while soaking in the atmosphere. But occasionally, your camera will be used to fend off hostile spirits in quick bursts of action. Prepare for scares when the game haunts the US later this year. Keep your eyes peeled for more details coming soon. Now let's dive into some Nintendo 3DS software, starting with the Nintendo eShop title, Box Boy. It's a charming puzzler from the platforming masters at HAL Laboratory, the developers of the Kirby series. Across the game's black and white world, you'll discover a wealth of mysteries just begging to be solved. To do so, you'll navigate more than 150 stages full of interesting challenges using the main character's ability to duplicate his blocky body. With this technique, he can invent unique structures like the shielding afro, and then use them to protect himself, hit switches, and snake around environments like a boss. Whatever type of gamer you are, chances are you haven't solved many puzzles like these before. So figuring them out just feels good. And so does parading around in the block costumes you'll unlock along the way. Some of them even make you move faster, jump higher, and look as much like a ninja block as you feel on the inside. Life's good when you're a ninja block. Box Boy will be available for purchase on the Nintendo eShop April 2nd. Next, the latest game in the Pokemon Rumble series, Pokemon Rumble World. It's a fast-paced action game that you can download for free and start playing right away. It features more than 700 Pokemon from Pokemon Red and Blue through Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, some of which can even Mega Evolve. Making toy Pokemon attack is as simple as pushing a button. To advance in your journey, you'll square off against tons of wild toy Pokemon and defeat them to add to your collection. During your adventure, you'll travel to different areas on hot air balloons. Where you go depends on the type of balloon you're on. As you play, you'll acquire different balloons using items called Poke Diamonds, allowing you to reach more distant areas where you'll encounter new crops of wild toy Pokemon. There are other ways Poke Diamonds aid you during gameplay. You can get Poke Diamonds when you beat certain stages or even via Street Pass. Or you can purchase them through the Nintendo eShop using funds from your account, which you can access at a shop in Castletown, your adventurer's home base. Pokemon Rumble World will be free to download starting on April 8th through the eShop on Nintendo 3DS. If you love Mario, RPGs, or puzzle games, 
then the future is looking bright because two brand new full-length RPGs are headed your way in a single package. Puzzle & Dragon Z plus Puzzle & Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition packs in two unique games at a great price. Each game is its own separate adventure with completely different stories, characters, and gameplay twists. Puzzle & Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition begins with Princess Peach being kidnapped by Bowser. To rescue her this time, Mario and Luigi must take the Koopa King down by crafting the perfect team of his own minions. In battle, you attack enemies by dragging elemental orbs around the playfield to create matches of three or more for greater damage. Chain five or more orbs and you'll unleash a group attack on multiple enemies. Picking the right team is paramount. You'll choose a leader like Mario or even Boo Luigi, each of which has a passive skill that is used automatically. Companions have skills too, only theirs are activated manually after a certain number of turns have passed. To gain new skills, your companions can transform, which also increases their level cap. Items like the Super Mushroom or Goomba Coin cause transformations to occur, like a red Koopa Troopa riding on a Cheep Cheep. And that's just one game included in this package. The other half of your purchase nets you Puzzle and Dragon Z, which weaves a whole separate tale that sees you joining an ancient dragon research organization known as the Rangers. On your quest to save the world, you encounter more than 250 monsters, each of which can serve as your team leader, providing you with tons of strategic options. And by using chips gathered from defeated monsters, you can even evolve your monsters into new forms. With these evolutions come new skills, higher level caps, and different stats. Puzzle & Dragon Z plus Puzzle & Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition will claw its way to store shelves May 22nd, but you can pre-order it beginning today on Nintendo.com. If you can't wait that long, Puzzle & Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition will have a demo available April 30th on the Nintendo 3DS eShop so feel free to try it out. For a really in-depth look at the game and what makes it so compelling, make sure to check out the new video on our YouTube channel that goes up today. Our next title is Attack on Titan, Humanity in Chains from Atlas. In this fast-paced action game, you play as characters from the popular manga and anime series. As an elite member of the Scout Regiment, you can experience the feeling of bringing down a Titan on your own or with friends in the local or online four-player co-op mode complete with rankings and leaderboards. The game also supports the C-Stick on the new Nintendo 3DS XL for smoother camera control. Finally, to inspire you to join the Scout Regiment when the game releases, the first two episodes of the Attack on Titan anime are now available in Nintendo eShop. Attack on Titan Humanity in Chains will be available in May only on the Nintendo eShop. The recently released turn-based action strategy game, Codename Steam, is already challenging players with the depth of strategy you'd expect from our friends at Intelligent Systems. But if you haven't had the chance to try it yourself, feel free to download the demo. It's currently available on the Nintendo eShop. And remember that if you have a new Nintendo 3DS XL, you can tap compatible Fire Emblem Amiibo like Marth on the NFC Touchpoint to add that character to your roster, fantasy weaponry and all. If you weren't able to get a hold of a Marth Amiibo, don't worry. We'll be releasing more Marth Amiibo in May, so stay in the loop and don't miss your second chance. In related news, there's an update on the way to Codename Steam that will improve the player's experience, allowing you to speed up enemy turns by pressing a fast forward button. Specific details will be announced on our social media channels soon. In honor of literature's most famous trickster, we're starting an online public tournament called Hijinx, named for Tom Sawyer himself. This deathmatch tournament will run from today until April 5th. So if you want to participate, follow these steps to see how you stack up to the best of the best. There will be more tournaments in the future, so stay tuned. Top players in these tournaments will even earn special titles that are visible online. Next, I have some info on a new update to Street Pass Me Plaza. The software already contains several games crafted specifically with StreetPass functionality in mind. The last update in 2013 added four games to the plaza. Now we're bringing two new games to the plaza. The first one is called Ultimate Angler. 
In this fishing game, the player visits the Street Pass Islands to try and catch various fish with bait received from me characters via Street Pass. You'll have to pick the right bait to hook the fish you're trying to catch, and if it bites, reel it in. There are over 150 fish scattered across the islands, not to mention several legendary monsters. The other new Street Pass game is Battleground Z. In this action game, players receive items based on their Street Pass Meat Plaza character's hobby and use them as weapons to beat down hordes of zombies. It all goes down in the city of Hobbyville, home to people who take their hobbies and zombie outbreaks very seriously. To rescue the citizens of Hobbyville, players will make the most of 26 makeshift weapons to best the zombies in each stage. Alongside these games, we'll also be offering Street Pass Me Plaza Premium, which brings to the service even more ways to interact with Me characters. Street Pass Me Plaza Premium is a paid content which offers up new features like Street Pass Birthdays. Now you can start filling in the dates of your Street Pass Me characters' birthdays on the new calendar, and also store up to 100 Mees of your friends or special Mees in the new VIP room. The new update to Street Pass Me Plaza will be available on April 16th. Ultimate Angler, Battleground Z, and Street Pass Me Plaza Premium can each be purchased individually inside Street Pass Me Plaza once the update is complete. If you purchase both Ultimate Angler and Battleground Z together, you can get them for a special discounted price. The Nintendo 3DS family of systems already has a great library of role-playing games. One look around the internet and you'll find lots of gamer love for titles like Fire Emblem Awakening and Bravely Default. But fans of those games should prepare themselves for a whole new dimension of RPG goodness, because the role-playing swan song of the last generation is brand new again, exclusively on the new Nintendo 3DS XL system. The new Nintendo 3DS XL version combines the original's amazing story vast landscapes and intense real-time battles with new features like the collection. Here you can view 3D animated models and listen to the entire soundtrack even with your system closed. It's time for the world debut of a new trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. Enjoy. 14 years since I found you on that mountain. Seems like yesterday. I owe it all to you. If you hadn't found me that day, I wouldn't be here now discovering the world. Now I think about it, that was when I found the Monado as well. This might be crazy talk, but maybe you and the Monado are part of some higher plan. I just realized something. The future I see, it isn't set. I think it's more like a warning. for what you've done! Get back here! No! If they know your next move, it's all in vain. It can't be! Ah! Unbelievable! Stick together, everyone! Now, Melia! Control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. Let's move on to the new Fire Emblem game for Nintendo 3DS, which we announced in the last Nintendo Direct. As in Fire Emblem Awakening, the main character will be a customizable avatar created by the player. However, in that game, the character you created was more like a second protagonist, or even a partner for the main character. This time around, for the first time in the series, your created character is THE main protagonist of the game. 
Today, I would like to show you a new trailer that highlights some changes only made possible because the player is now the main hero. Please take a look. There are two kingdoms at war, the peace-loving Hoshiro and the glory-seeking Nor. It's up to the player to decide which side to take. As always, there are two sides to every story, and in this game, the path you choose ultimately decides your character's fate. No matter what, the world and characters will be the same, but depending on the decision you make, the storyline, battles, and outcomes will be drastically different. On the Hoshido side, you'll experience a more traditional path as you work together with your allies to fend off Norian invaders. Because this path story is more similar to past Fire Emblem games, it's a bit more accessible, even for newcomers. On the other hand, if you choose the Nor, you'll be forced to revolutionize an unruly kingdom from the inside, so the story will be slightly more complex and the difficulty will be more challenging. The new Fire Emblem for Nintendo 3DS is planned for a 2016 release in North America. Stay tuned for more information in the future. You may have heard something about these cards I'm holding. Well, we're finally ready to show our hand. These cards feature characters from the Animal Crossing series, and you can use these cards in a brand new Nintendo 3DS game called Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. The game offers you a unique way to interact with your favorite animals from the series without doing chores. It's all about the home decorating and design aspects of Animal Crossing. In fact, animals will request the player to design a house for them, one that fits their rather specific tastes. Then, it's up to the player to furnish and decorate their homes and meet the animal's request by designing them a home that suits their sense of style. That's where the cards come in. They're a new, more portable form of Amiibo that doesn't require a figure. If you have an Animal Crossing series Amiibo card, you can tap it in to design a room for the animal on the card. After designing their room, you can scan additional Amiibo cards to invite other animals to come visit their house, and then kick back and watch them have fun together or snap a photo. In other words, Amiibo cards let you experience a different side of the Animal Crossing world than you normally see in the core series. The Animal Crossing series Amiibo cards and the game Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer will be released this fall. We will also release an NFC Reader Writer accessory on the same day as Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. 
That way, you can scan Amiibo on regular Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 2DS systems as well. We have a couple more announcements to make on an existing title that Mr. Iwata will cover. See you next time! Hello again! For today's final game, I have some new information about downloadable content for Mario Kart 8. What you are watching right now is the new Animal Crossing course included in Mario Kart 8 DLC Pack 2. Here you find familiar elements and characters that make this course feel like a piece of the Animal Crossing world. On this course, this season will change each time you race. Spring, Summer, Fall, and Winter. Much like in Animal Crossing games, you can bask in a variety of seasonal vistas here. Plus, we put a lot of effort into the background music too. The background track is a souped up racing version of the Animal Crossing theme recorded live in studio. Mario Kart 8 DLC Pack 2 will include new racers, Isabel, Villager, and drivers plus four new cards as well as eight new courses including the animal crossing course you just saw we are happy to announce that instead of in may this pack will be released on april 23rd in the future we'll have more details about the cards and courses that are on the way alongside this release more me racing suit will be added. These nine new compatible amiibo characters will add costumes to the game. Please try on your favorite one and enjoy racing in style. We have one more announcement for Mario Kart 8. Please take a look. The Mario Kart series has been a part of many gamers' lives for over 20 years, ever since the debut of Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1992. Each entry in the series has featured gameplay that appeals to kids and adults alike by offering three main racing classes. 50cc, a class which anyone can enjoy playing with relative ease. 100cc, a speedier class that requires some skill and technique. 150cc, the fastest class, where finely honed skills are needed to compete with the best of the best. But now... <laughs> 200cc is here! Ever since the original Super Mario Kart game, 150cc has been the fastest class. But now, we are introducing you to a whole new level, the 200cc class. Because it's so fast, you have to have a good braking skill around tight corners. It's Mario Kart, like you've never experienced it before. This not only applies to the new downloadable courses, every course in the game will offer a 200cc class in local, 
and online play. Alongside Mario Kart 8 DLC Pack 2, an update adding 200cc mode will be released on April 23rd. After downloading the update, you'll be able to enjoy this new 200cc class for free. Whether you think you can handle the speed or not, please try out this new 200cc class of races. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.